Hey guys, this is the Kotlin coding style guide. Um, uh, what this is, is pretty much a way of how to code in Kotlin, how to code in Kotlin correctly. Um, so it's a universal um, um, a design standard, kind of like material design. It's a design standard for the programming language to make it very easy to read for everyone. Now this is pretty much what I'm going to show you is what I think is pretty much the most important parts that I found in the coding on my design that uh, I found that are going to make a big impact with everything that you can actually start today. So first thing is probably that for an if statement, what sometimes you do is you have the power to say like if um, if person and then you return true right you just boolean and then you have just like a return true right there and you have a return person after that so we're, we're looking at this if, if statement right now we have this return true this is um uh this is wrong you shouldn't be doing this it makes it a little confusing because from this to this to a not non-indented um, a return statement means a totally different thing. It it separate it doesn't separate it from the if statements, so you have to put these curly braces in. It makes it a lot cleaner, um, mainly because if you don't have the these curly braces, I mean the difference between the, this one and this one is very similar. It's just one little tiny indentation, and it means an entirely different thing. Uh, I find it confusing when, when people do this. Uh, I always put the, the curly braces in and it looks fine. You, there's a, a separation from the two return statements. So I, um, uh, there was one. The second one I would say is a try. So you have a try and then you have, you know, um, when you're, um, uh, whatever function you have, and then you have a catch right and then um let's say you don't have anything in the catch at all right i'll put this here so to complain there Okay, so you have a catch right here, and you have a try. Now, um, uh, the thing that you shouldn't be doing here is that you shouldn't be having these curly braces on one line. They should be separated like this. Um, that is with the the designing practice. Um, I always did like this, but as I saw it from the the design site for Kotlin, this is actually much cleaner because you can actually see where the catch statement, where the catch is, instead of having it like this. I mean, here it, it looks very jumbled up, looks like a little tiny bit of a mess. I'd rather have it like this so I know exactly where the catch is, and that's pretty much it. Next one is another if statement, and uh, say we have, you know, a value like, um, Like your age, right? Age equals, and you have an if statement. Say, if that's true, my age is 10. If that's not, then my age is 20, right? We shouldn't be doing this again. We we need the the curly braces for this. Uh, this makes it a little. Uh, in my opinion, it makes it look look very hard to read. Uh, other people might be able to read this, but to me, it looks like just random numbers on the screen. I uh, I really can't read it. Uh, when I look at this, I'm I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure where the ten is or where the twenty is. You may be thinking, you know, twenty belongs to the else, of course, and the ten belongs to the if statement, 
But you know, if I'm switching back and forth from from different tabs, now look at this. I go inside it. Um, I can't understand it really on my right away. I can't see the see the separation from the if statements and the else. So what you have to do is put these curly braces in. Uh, now I can see the difference between the 10 and the 20. Um, and if I go to another tab, like to the Gradle and come back over here, I can see that, oh, this 10 goes to this if statement, uh, this 20 goes to the else. It creates a very big separation. Without, the se without that separation, um, if I can't read it very fast, I'm pretty sure most people can't read it very fast. It's okay if you can read it, but make sure your code is readable by other people as well, um, so they can actually glance at it and see what's going on in pretty much an instant. So next is pretty much line spacing, and that's mainly for, you know, parameters and stuff like that. And I'll show you right here. Let's say we have parameters of example string and example two, that's string as well. Funk example, and then we put in person and then person two. Actually, we, we won't do it because that, that gives us the uh, parameter hints, so we'll just put the um, uh, same thing what they have on the example, which is a uh, a list. And that's why they did like that. List example, if I can spell list. There we go, now we have our list, one and two, right? Delete this int now, there we go. They have one and two. Now if we see this, now if we have a whole bunch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we have a whole bunch of these. Now what's wrong here? It doesn't look like anything is wrong, but everything is jumbled up into one little tiny block. Um, it's a little hard to read these numbers here because they're very close together, all these numbers. Now, I'm a, like a, I say I'm all about, um, I like to just Go from one to ten tab and be able to glance at something and see what's in it. With with here, I see this big giant double mess and my brain just tries to make that into one word and I can't read the entire thing very fast. It sees it as this one big giant long thing of text and there is no separation between the numbers. So what you have to do is separate these like this and create that separation. These numbers aren't one big giant entity, they're, they're all their own thing. And what I mean by, by that, the one, one is one, in, on my one is one, index two is a second index, three, four, they're all different. They're not just one big giant um, jumbled word. And you should treat them that way, they're, they're all different, so you should have a space after the comma, so now when I go over here and I glance over here and I read, I see one, and then I start with one, I start with, then I read two, and then I read three, and then I read four. Before, I was, um, when I glance at this, I wasn't reading each individual number, I was trying to read the entire thing all at once, because it's one big giant um, entity you see in your brain as one big giant word. Um, you want to have these separate just like that. And those are pretty much the my favorite things within that, that design guideline that I think are going to make the biggest difference with your